can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love, and that's fine. Local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things, I gotta just let it all out. I'm talking about. Nice. Oh my gosh. I got one already. What a way to start this video. With a two pounder, two and a quarter, choking a chatterbait. What a way. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to start today's video out on this amazing day here in Florida. With a fish choking a chatterbait that far, that is insane right there. Holy smokes. With an old beautiful bass on a chatterbait. Oh, that's just sweet. The sun hasn't even came up yet. We are about to smack him today. I haven't even got to do the intro yet and already caught this solid little guy. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting, man. That was that was awesome. Oh, yeah. Only thing I can do right now is get back out there and try to catch another one, right? Holy crap! I just had one right there. Holy! Crap. <laughs> Did you see the wake of him? Holy crap! That was next cast. I was trying to get the grass off my chatterbait. I had one slam me right there. Oh, yes. Oh, man. That's a decent one right there. Holy cow. This is why I love Florida, baby. You cannot beat it. Look at that. Solid two and a half pound fish. Look at that. God, that's. Holy holy cow that might be that's that's over two that's about two and a half right there look at that fish this is a long healthy fish because we've already caught two good ones in the matter of a few casts almost had three and man how can it get better than that what a beautiful fish man haven't even done the intro yet and already catching good ones golly that is a beautiful fish cannot take nothing away from this one that is fun right there I didn't even bring any trailers out here. I'm probably gonna be wishing I did. Me already catching two on this chatterbait that quick. That is just insane. Almost had three. I mean, they're just, they're munching this thing. No doubt about it. They're munching this chatterbait. And I haven't even had time to do my entry yet. I'm having fish freaking crush this thing right away. How can you beat that? Let's throw back in there where he was, see if there's another one. Oh. Holy smokes. He picked it up and started taking off to the left. Let's flip back in there and see if he'll bite it. This is ridiculous. As we haven't even done the entry yet. <laughs> Guys, I've missed more fish than I've caught. I've, I've already missed three fish. I'm grabbing this chatterbait, but they're not eating it all the way. I don't get how the first one just choked it. And now I've missed three fish in a row. Pretty crazy. I, I don't know. They're they're eating. I've had five bites already. I haven't even moved spots. I've been standing in the same spot this whole time. Well, everyone, welcome to another video. You know, sorry about starting to intro about ten minutes late. You know, we've only caught five fish now. We are whacking them already. Already we're whacking them that good. But that is not the goal today. Is to catch them on a shatter bait. That is not the goal. The goal is to catch some more frogfish because I know you guys don't get to see that much. I don't get to do that much, and I really want to catch me a frogfish out here today. Um, if we were throwing this chatterbait all day, it would be deadly. It would be insane. I mean, I haven't even thrown it much. I've already caught four on it. I missed a few more on it. They're munching the chatterbait, all right? But anyways, we're going to take that frog. We're going to be going down this bank. We're going to try to catch a lot of bass on this thing. We had one to come blow up. We had one that just kind of peeked his head up top. He didn't eat it all the way. Um, but that gives me the hope that we can catch a few on this frog today. So let's go ahead and continue to work down this bank. I feel like it's only going to get better. You guys should see the activity on the bank where we're about to be casting. 
Literally, as I said that, a fish jumped in the back. Let's go ahead and get out here. One last cast in this corner. Then we're gonna start walking down the bank and we're gonna get us some frog fish today. I don't wanna sit here and stick them all on a chatterbait. We're gonna try to get some top water action this morning. Slowly pick up this frog and start cast. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> oh, this is gonna kill me. Just going past so many fish with this frog. But I know the bite's gonna be so fun. I'm spooking so many on the bank right now. Holy crap. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Calm down, Noah, just calm down. Holy crap. I got a bucket of salad out of that. He, whew, he tanked that thing. That was like a solid three, three and a half pounder. Holy crap. He completely juked me out on that one, not gonna lie. I thought he had it. It sure looked like he had it, but no, he just swatted at it. We're gonna throw back in there. You wanna catch one real quick just to say that we can do it? Game over. There he is. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> ah, only if you guys knew how insane this day would be if I stuck with this chatterbait. But maybe we can film two videos out of this. Maybe we'll just try. God, I got him so deep he's bleeding a little bit, but look at that bass. Yeah, I gotta get him back in the water. Oh my god, all right. Not quite a big one, but solid pound and a half. What in the heck? We just gotta put this chatterbait down. I'm telling you guys, if, if we were throwing this all day, I'm just letting y'all know. Matter of fact, we're gonna throw another cast out here. I, I'm telling you, if we were just chucking this all day, we'd have probably 40, 50 fish that were pretty good size, not gonna lie. But watch, I mean, I. They're all out here, and I know I can catch them on this chatterbait. We just got a decision to make. Holy! Oh my God, it's a big one. He tanked that frog. Yes, look at that. Look at that frog in the back of his throat. Literally in the back of his throat. Oh yeah, that's what we've been waiting for. I ain't that big, about to. Gosh, is that a beautiful bass on the frog. When they come jumping, they look so big. But I am not complaining. This bass just destroyed that frog right there. <laughs> and that is why we came here today, boys. Catching big frog fish, that is the overall goal. So we're not even gonna pick up that chatterbait anymore. We know it can happen on the frog. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna continue to work down this bank and maybe we'll just end up hooking an absolute donkey. I would like to give a specific shout out to my boy, Bass Bank Robbers, man. I'm gonna link him right here. You guys need to go follow him. He's hooked me up fat. I asked him if he wanted to come fishing, uh, but he is at work. He's working hard. Fully support that 100%. Wish you could be out here fishing with me, but uh, He's letting me fish one of his holes today. I'm actually here in Florida, it's super addicting. I'm telling you, Florida is too addicting. The content is too good when I come out here. So it's like, I, it's worth me driving a few hours out of my way to come fish. It is just flat out, simple as that. It's too good. Holy crap, was that fun. That was it right there. Just, <laughs> those bites are just too good. You cannot compare nothing to a frog fishing bite. Something about catching a fish on a frog is just so interesting, so fun, oh my gosh. Not gonna lie, if I could do any type of fishing, it would probably be frog fishing. Frog fishing is probably my favorite over anything. If I could just go pick and be like, all right, I'm gonna catch a fish on this bait today, it would probably have to be a frog. Something about the bite's just so exciting. 
and it never gets old. You can catch a hundred fish on this frog today. Oh man, it's just so fun. That looks game over to me. Yep. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh man. This is a big one. Holy crap. Look at that. <laughs> what did I say on that cast? It's game over. It sure was game over for this big bass right here. Holy crap. <laughs> How can you beat that, guys? Hit that like button if you haven't already. This is just, oh, this is going to be a fun day out here frog fishing. All right, buddy. Beautiful bass right there, about two and three quarters. That is a good one. Uh oh. Oh no. <sighs> yep, that's the biggest one yet. Look at him peeing. Look at that right there. Look at him peeing all over the place. He was not coming off, I could tell you that. Look at that fish. Super skinny, but man, that is still a big one. That is insane. That's what we're averaging on the frog fish right now. Beautiful bass like that. Look how long. He is skinny as can be. Isn't that pretty right there? Look at that. Look at that beautiful bass. <laughs> that is so much fun. So obviously I'm frog fishing today, but maybe I can talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm doing, explain myself a little bit more. And you guys can go apply that to when you guys are fishing out on the water. So. As you guys can tell, there is so much activity up on this bank. All, <laughs> this is all behind my frog right now. So there's a lot of bass pushed up shallow on this bank. There's a lot of tilapia as well. Um, but I'm, I'm just, I got a lot of water in my frog. Here's a little tip right here. Squeeze the water out or your frog will sink. Matter of fact, I popped my frog. Look at that. Look at that. I busted my frog. It's the only one I got with me today too. I hope that doesn't affect this. Because what I'm doing, I'll have to show you guys. So I'm throwing my frog out here. There's a lot of grass up here on this bank. Yeah, my frog's sinking. That's not good. For what I'm doing today and how I'm catching them, that is not gonna fly, I can tell you that. No good. I cannot believe I pop. I have not done that yet. And this is on a little booyah, I don't know if, what the heck? I usually throw a spro. Anyways, what I was saying guys, I'm throwing this frog up here on the bank. A lot of grass on the bank, a lot of bass on the bank. A lot of beds on the bank, a lot of tilapia on the bank. There's a lot of activity on the bank. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this little popping frog. This is actually one by Booyah. It's a little natural color. It's got brown on the top, a little bit of yellow in the middle, and then white on the back. And I'm taking this frog, I'm throwing parallel with the bank. That's really important. If you guys don't know what that means, right here is parallel with the bank, all right? So instead of casting out off the bank, we're throwing <laughs> oh man that's a big one god that's the best one yet actually just keep getting bigger and bigger look at him choke that thing look at him choke that thing i mean in the back of his throat i think he wanted it holy crap is that a long fish that is golly that is insane right there that's dang pushing 20 inches look at him He's got a skinny tummy, super long fish right there. All right, buddy, thank you for biting. You you uh, you kind of interrupted my little presentation on what we're doing, but man, I'll take you. Oh, is he gonna jump? Oh. So as I was saying before I got slammed, I'm throwing parallel with the bank. So what that means is instead of throwing out off the bank, are you kidding, am I about to get slammed again? Instead of throwing out off the bank, I'm throwing directly on the edge of the bank. And the reason I'm doing this, all these bass, bass are pushed up shallow right now. And obviously I'm throwing a little frog that I'm gonna be wanting to throw in this shallow water. I'm not gonna sit here and throw a frog all the way out there. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this, throwing it along this grass on the bank. All these bass are sitting here as well, hungry and ready to munch. And what I'm doing with this frog is I'm throwing it out there and I'm usually letting it pause, all right? I just busted this hole in my frog. So this does not help the situation. But what I've been doing is I've been throwing this frog along this grass and what I notice is they want it really slow. So when I throw it out there, I might let it sit for a second and I'll give it a little pop. And all of a sudden I might let it sit for another second 
and I'll give it another pop. And then usually that's when they're gonna eat it. They've been eating it on those long pauses, all right? Right now, I just busted that hole in my frog and it's making me work it really quick because if I let it sit, then it's just gonna sink because of that big hole right there in the front of it. Um, I mean, look at that, that is ridiculous. But I did just catch that fish working it a little bit faster. But the other ones were definitely coming when I'm pausing this frog a little bit longer and giving them a little bit more time to look at it and it kind of irritates them if it's sitting right there above their head. Let's give it a try right here. God, is there a huge bed with a huge fish on it, I see him. He ain't gonna bite, he's looking at me right here. I don't know if you guys see all this. This is just unbelievable to me. All I know is this frog is really irritating because I know I could get so many more bites on it, but therefore it's sinking. And that is just aggravating. I mean, look at all this water that comes out every time. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Maybe that little fast approach walking out of the top, that might do it. That might entice them to destroy this thing. This frog is getting worse and worse. But we're gonna continue, we're gonna see if we can catch these fish. I don't know how I missed him right there. Oh yeah, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Oh man, these fish next to me are spooking me. And then I just hooked this guy. Oh yeah. Where you at? Yes, sir. Get your butt on. Whoa, Jimbo, calm down, calm down, calm down now. Calm down now. Let me get you so I can release you back in the water. These fish are like all identical. They're like twins. I think this is what, our fourth fish on the frog? I'm having to work in it fast now. Imagine if I was working it slow, how many we'd be getting, but look at that beautiful fish. Oh yeah. Talk about destroying your frog. Look at that one. Look at that one. My frog is so destroyed. Yep, this frog is gonna have to go in the trash after this one. The hole keeps ripping more and more, and that is not gonna roll. We're gonna get about this trip, maybe the next 10 minutes out of this frog. Then we're gonna have to, we don't have a choice but the chatterbait, which I left behind me, but. <laughs> oh man. That is the biggest one. Oh man, he destroyed that thing. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Look at that. Holy crap, guys. Yeah, since we're working this thing fast, these fish are getting a lot more aggressive <laughs> with this frog. Preemed that thing. He didn't just suck it down. Pushing it. If he had a little fatter stomach. Man, <laughs> that is awesome on the frog. That fish hit it like a shark. See our frog still holding up. <laughs> he's he's dead. The frog's done, okay? But we're gonna try and keep trying to catch these aggressive ones. That thing came out of nowhere. That was awesome right there. That's that was probably the funnest fish catch today. Guys, it looks like our frog is not gonna last. Look at that. I can't even, I'm, I'm to the point to where I can't even really even pop it up anymore and move it fast enough. It just keeps on getting too much water in it. We're going to go back here. We're going to grab this chatterbait. We're going to get to work, baby. And we're going to catch some good ones. It should happen quick. The only problem is, is that I only have one trailer for my chatterbait. I kind of screwed myself on this one. You know, we broke a frog, which I, I didn't think would ever happen. I just thought, you know, if we came out here, we might not catch them on it. But we broke a frog. And now we only have one trailer on the chatterbait. But we're going to make it work, and we are going to catch some toads. I am not going to lie. I just witnessed two tilapia making out right there. Literally. I was like their dad catching them. You bad boys, man. You bad boys. Guys, I hope I'm not freaking out right now. But <laughs> I don't know where my rod's at. I've been walking. Oh, I see it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to lie, guys. I thought it was about to have to turn around because I passed it. I did not think I left it this far back. There is so many more fish we can catch today on that bait. Are you? 
Holy smokes. I That's the biggest one. On the freaking chatterbait? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's a three and a half pound fish right there. Look at that in the back of his throat. Let's talk about a few things. One, I just got that fish on my second cast of my chatterbait. And two, I don't know if you guys saw that, but when I hook set into this fish, I thought I had probably, <laughs> he didn't move at all. I don't know why, I think I had grass on it where my drag slipped, but that was just weird. But look at that, that is the best one today by far. And we are killing them. That's second cast on the chatterbait. I'm telling you, if we, if we were throwing that chatterbait around today a lot, we would smack them, but we only got one trailer, so we're gonna see what we can do. But look at that guy, best one today by far. All right, guys, best fish today. That is a good one on the chatter dunk. On the chatter dunk. God, that was a good one. He didn't have it all the way. He like didn't. Mmm. There he is. Yeah, he's a good one. Duh. Holy crap, he choked at that time. Look at this, guys. This is unreal. This is unbelievable right here. Look at that. They're all like the same size. All beautiful fish, though. I mean, they're all quality. Every single one we catch on the Chiry Donk and the Frog. He just came back and ate that thing. Threw in there once. He kind of like swatted at it. Threw in there a second time. Popped it a few times. And boom, caught him that time. Well, heck, let's get back in there, boys. So I kind of want to show you guys what I'm throwing today. It's just a white and chartreuse chatterbait, and I simply got a fluke right here on the back of it. It does have a gold blade and a chartreuse head right there, and this bait is whacking them right now. This is just a standard white one I usually throw. I like a little bit of chartreuse. I like the chartreuse action. They sell a chatterbait that's just straight white. I tend to fade towards the, the white and chartreuse if I'm going to get a light-colored one like this. And they are crushing this... Enough said. Enough said. Do I need do I need to even say that they're crushing this? Do I even need to say that? Next freaking cast. And they're all tanks. That's dang near a three pound fish right there. <laughs> Every single one of them, just like this. And before I get a lot of hate for tossing these fish in the water, I notice this when I'm editing my videos because I say it a lot. It doesn't look like a far drop right here, okay? But it that is about four foot from, from the bank right here. And I cannot get down to release that fish. I can't even get down to rinse off my hands. So I'm just going to clarify that, put that out there. On the GoPro, it makes it look like I'm right there at the water. I have no idea, but I promise you, this is a pretty far drop. Like, if I fell right here, I'd probably bust my face. But just to clarify that. Anyways... What I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by that fish that wanted to choke this chatterbait. Um, I really like that white and chartreuse. That's usually what I fade towards. I don't use many colored chatterbaits. I keep it very simple. So I'm either going with like the white, the white and chartreuse, a black and blue, or every once in a while I'll throw like a green pumpkin or like more of a peanut butter and jelly color. But a majority of the time I'm just sticking towards, you know, the white or the or the black and uh black and blue ones. That's usually what I fade towards most of the time. The, this white one is just one that I had in my truck that I had on my rod. So that's kind of just what I took out today. I didn't really have any any specific reason. I know I could whack them on a black and blue one here. But usually the white and chartreuse, I have a lot of good luck with this one. And it catches a lot of good fish. Either way, a chatterbait is going to sit there and whack them. Done deal. I'm calling it. That one's about to get slammed. Slammed and jammed slammed oh okay only a two pounder but i did say that I was about to get slammed now what the heck do we have going on we got a little mess here so that was the first cast that i made pretty much out off the bank i've been throwing parallel with this i know we talked about this with the frog but there's a lot of grass right here on the shore it goes out about five foot and then right off the end of that there's some beds that are sitting up here on the bank but then there's that grass and right on that drop off on the edge of that grass there's a ton of beds and that is where we've been getting our key bites especially on the chatterbait because we can't throw it up in this thick hydrilla up here um so we're throwing right here on the edge of it and that's when we're getting these bites on the are you kidding me man just literally exactly what i'm explaining and it happens all those fish are hitting it right at the edge of that grass and uh that's pretty much what happened right there see i threw out there in the middle 
right when I got it to the edge of the grass, that's when he hit. And that's why throwing parallel with his bank is so, so important because you're gonna be covering water, you're gonna be in the strike zone every time. If I sit out here and throw out every single time, but the fish are sitting right here, it makes zero sense because you're literally covering 5% of your cast is in the strike zone. But if you're sitting here throwing parallel with the bank right on the edge of this grass, just like how I threw right there, you're literally in the strike zone 100% of the time. And watch, I'm probably gonna get a bite right here just to show you. I literally just got slammed, not exaggerating there. Watch this. I'm just just to show you guys that I'm not pulling this out of my butt, and this is literally just what's happening. You know, you got the grass edge, boom, just threw on the grass edge, sitting here popping this chatterbait, and watch, I'm gonna get slammed. I'm telling you, they're sitting right here on the edge of this grass. One thing that's really helping right now that that wasn't here. There he is. Oh my God, guys, this is a big one. Holy cow, that's a big one. Holy cow. Holy cow, that is the biggest fish of the day. Yes, sir. Holy smokes, look at that thing. Look at that one. And he choked it. That's a solid four pounder. Look at that, baby. Holy smokes, look at that fish. Chatterbait in the back of his throat. Every single one of them. Straight choking this thing. We know exactly what they want today, boys. That is a solid fish right there. That is unbelievable. I'm loving this right now. So much fun. If you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, be sure to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. I'm showing you guys exactly what I'm doing so you guys can take this information, apply it on the water wherever you go, and uh, maybe it'll help you catch more bass. All right, buddy, I'm gonna barely toss you. What a pretty fish, biggest one today. There he goes. Heck yeah, man. We were just talking about it and we just made it happen. I don't really know where I left off there, but the point is we're throwing on the edge of this grass and they're just loaded and they're stacked and they're exactly where they need to be. I actually remember what I was trying to get to before I caught that fish, what I was talking about. This wind, you know, when we came down here with the frog, it wasn't really windy at all, which was a good thing. And I'm glad we got to fish the frog when we were. And now that this wind is pushing up on this bank and I'm throwing this chatterbait on the edge of this grass where all these bass are sitting, you know, that slight ripple on the water, that slight wind is honestly helping out a bunch. It doesn't seem like it's doing really much, but I promise you that wind will help this bite out a lot on the chatterbait. On the frog, it's not gonna necessarily help it as much, but on the chatterbait, that can definitely help the bite and uh, make us land more big fish. I was about to say we should get slammed. Another giant. Another giant. I'm literally about to say it. Oh no, my fluke. Thank God it flew off on the bank. <laughs> there we go. And he still ate it pretty good. He didn't choke it like the other ones. Golly, this is insane, guys. I'm telling you, if you guys were here with me right now, you guys would be having a blast. This is about two pounds. Yeah, just about that. Look at that. Pulled off my freaking fluke that's on the ground over here. Thank God. Let me get you a little closer to your home, buddy. All right. Gently toss. You. There you go. There he is. <laughs> this is insane. Guys, this is just, I don't even know what to think about this. Golly, look at that hydrilla gorilla. This one actually didn't eat it like the rest. Guys, look at these fish. I mean, these are some fat, fat bass. He's slipping out of my hand. All right, Jimbo, I'm gonna get you back in the water. This solid three pounder. All right, there you go, swims back. Holy crap, guys, hit that like button, man. I'm, I'm getting so pumped up. You guys have no idea. Walking and casting. Holy smokes, is that the biggest one? Is that the biggest one? Oh man. You are a three pound fish in a four pound body. I was literally just joking around right there. I really didn't think I was gonna catch one. And I watched him come up and engulf it. <sighs> that is pitiful. That is honestly pitiful. Look at this bass. It's literally a four pound fish and not even a three. I don't, I don't know. That is a long fish though. What, what do you guys think the weight of this fish is? <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, look at him. He's got a big head on him, but in a long body, but he's so skinny. 
That's like not even realistic. All right, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, calm down now. Calm down. <laughs> it is the biggest rat I've ever seen in my life. That is not a beaver to clarify. That is not a beaver. They don't, they got a rat tail. I'm not even gonna look over there. I don't even wanna mess that thing. That was a big boy. Came slurping his greasy butt right around that corner. Come on, fish. I know you're there. I know you're there, fishy. You ain't fooling nobody. Yep. Oh, man. He choked it in the back of his throat. Oh, my God. Well, look at that. Solid two and a half pound fish. That is awesome. Look at that in the back of his throat. This is how they're eating this thing. Look at that beautiful bass. That is like the smallest one today, and he's like two, two and a quarter. There he goes. Fish jumping over here. Just so amazing right now. So this is what we're gonna do. I am gonna have to say that we're gonna have to go get like a 15 inch worm. I'm talking five, 10, 15 inch worm and come out here and fish. But that is going to be in the next upload. Guys, I hate to cut you off here because I know it was a killer video. I am gonna be announcing the giveaway winners here after I do this little outro deal, but I'm gonna actually go buy the biggest worm that I can find and come out here, and that's gonna be in the next upload. So the easiest way to be notified about that, I don't know which day I'm gonna do it, but is to simply by hitting that subscribe button, and there's a little tiny bell right next to it. Even if you're subscribed, you might not have this on, but there's a little bell. Be sure to click that so it's gonna send you a notification when I put out an upload. And you guys know, every single week, three bangers. I mean bangers. Best fishing videos on YouTube and you guys know that. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. We're gonna be cutting to um, the giveaway winners now. Um, but be sure to turn on those post notifications. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that like button so you can stay tuned for the big worm action. So listen, I was gonna do the giveaway winners right now. But guys, this is like my longest video I've ever put on YouTube. This is like over 30 minutes. I don't even know how this is gonna do. Like I've never posted a video this long. We're actually gonna do it in the next upload. So if you guys haven't subscribed already, be sure to click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Giveaway winners are gonna be announced. I'm gonna be announcing the next three giveaway winners in the next video. So stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button as well because we post three bangers every single week here on Kicking the Basket. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video.